So, do happy cappies make for good pets? Well, they actually kind of do. But before you get one of these soy boy grass eaters to pull up in your backyard, there are several factors you need to consider. You see, these oversized guinea pigs need a lot of flipping space to roam and graze, and they also require a large body of water accessible at all times. The happy cappy is also highly social, so if you get one, you probably have to get another one as well, unless you want a sad cappy. Now, you might see this as an absolute win, but they eat and shit a lot, so it is going to be a costly endeavor, both financially and time-wise. They can also live for over 10 years, so it's not like those hamsters that survive two weeks at most before ending up in the vacuum. Training a happy cappy is also not as easy as training a dog or cat, in addition to this, finding a veterinarian with capybara experience might be very challenging, but the most important factor might be the legal restrictions, as they are not legal most places, so check your local laws and regulations before letting a happy cappy pull up at your front door. Click the link below for an even better video.